Right, so Elon Musk appearing in a courtroom today in Philly over this voter sweepstakes. The billionaire announcing two weeks ago that he would give away that million bucks a day until election as people register. The sweepstakes is open to swing state voters who sign a petition supporting the First and Second Amendments. Philly's district attorney says not so fast, suing now, arguing Musk is running an illegal lottery intended to influence voters. Musk has been one of Trump's most outspoken supporters, campaigning heavily for him in key battleground states. Legal analyst and trial attorney Misty Maris is here. Is there precedent for this? Well, the closest precedent is actually something involving Ben and Jerry's back in 2008 when they were giving something of value in exchange for voter registration. So the of value was actually a sticker on an ice cream cone that says, I voted. Now, the Federal Election Commission stepped in, sent a cease and desist letter, stop that. But Marnie, there's a distinction here, and it's a minute distinction, but it puts it in a little bit more of murky territory as far as whether or not there's a civil or criminal violation. And that's because Musk is not offering the million dollars to register to vote. He's offering the million dollars in exchange for signing a petition. To And the people that are eligible are registered voters, regardless of which party they're registered for. So that distinction from a legal perspective makes this case a bit different than anything that we've seen before. And thus, we have not seen uh, that, that action to actually stop it on the federal level, only an investigation being opened on that front. Hmm. So murky legal territory here. Does that give Musk a stronger case? Well, right now what we're seeing is Pennsylvania has stepped in, right? And we're seeing a court say that actually this is an illegal lottery scheme, but not because of all the reasons we just said. That's all relating to federal election law. They're talking about consumer fraud laws in the state. They say that this lottery does not have the right a clear rules that are required under the law, that they're saying that there's evidence that the winner might not be random. So all of those things fall under this consumer protections bucket. So what the, the court is trying to do is bring, excuse me, what the district attorney is doing is bringing what's called an order to show cause to shut this down. Now, Elon Musk in response has said, this isn't a state court issue. This should be in federal court. So any legal conferences, like there's one scheduled, unlikely to go forward because there's going to be an analysis about whether or not this is a federal issue as opposed to a state issue. So it's actually touching a lot of different aspects relating to federalism as well as murkiness in that election law on this front. Interesting. And the, the federal appeal on from Musk, some say, is just a stall tactic. Really quickly, um, there was a woman on stage with a big million dollar check. What happens to people who are given this money? I mean, do they give it back? What happened in the interim? Anything? Yeah, I don't think there would be an argument that they that the individuals who won the lottery would have to return it. That would be a penalty to the wrong individual. The penalties would be to Musk, most likely in any case scenario. Wow, interesting stuff. Okay, unprecedented. I like murky legal water. It gives us some, <laughs> something to talk about. Thanks for your expertise as always, Misty. All right, happy Thanks, Halloween. Marie. I like the orange. You okay. Too.